Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV Blind, level 33 quests on the level 33 Black Mage. Here we go. Back out here, once again, in Eastern Lanasia. So that's where the quests are at. And also this lab that's level 35. Let's we'll see what happens with that. Also like level 33 and a half, so that's pretty good. Did we ever check if we could get upgraded stuff here? Recommended? Eh, yeah, we're fine. Level 33 quests. Right over here. The maidservant, Himalo, comes to you for assistance. For her own fighting days are long past. Good day, sir. A word, if I may. Visiting Densus spotted a strange fish on the beach and came screaming back to the house. She is a level-headed young person, so I fear tis no vapors. The beach is no place for any relics until the truth is ascertained. I turn to you once again, and we trouble you to check the beach. Is it the jellyfish things? We saw the jellyfish things on the beach earlier. Looks like it's right there instead. There's definitely stuff out here. It's definitely sometimes a problem. The wind, it passes. Luck up. Your harness and high away the heavy equipment. Master Gengarju is feeling bored. Oh no. <laughs> Excellent timing. Come, come. Such a still wilting day, and I had a thought. A little thought. A violet. not a rose. To call up a refreshing breeze. The wind's right now. You can get a healthy puff or two out of them. Follows that a powerful sprite can set a whole city aflutter. According to my best calculations, Rather, my second best calculations. No need to ask how or why. Collecting three cores from wind sprites should permit you to summon a more powerful specimen. Won't someone, present company definitely included, carry out my genius plan? Will someone name to collect this handsome reward? Wind sprites. Okay. Good one. Oh, it's gonna be so much easier to get over here to this guy. When we can fly. Okay. Oh, a lot of stuff happened there. Next. Not standing that. I don't need that right now. I'm taking some damage here. I still fired even after we left that soon, huh? Wow. That time was interrupted. That time was interrupted. It doesn't seem to be very consistent. I'm not sure. Definitely incredibly important to know how and why this is doing what it's doing. Well, we definitely ran away and then still fired off our fire attack. I don't know. There's a whole shell here. Remove the carcass. That's just what they were worried about. That's alright. Dealt with it. Let's turn this one here. Here goes. On the beaches of Castano Sol, we live in strange times. Carcass must have drifted ashore, for soon as have been dead longer than a day or two, as when the beach was last tidied by the keepers. Thank you, sir. You need not stay downwind. I've smelled the smell before. You must step up the groundskeeping, I fear. My steer covers you is likely to have one of his ideas otherwise. 3,570 XP. We've been hitting exactly 300,000 multiple times here. It's been weird. Hmm. Or is that a cap of some sort? The fact that I've seen exactly 300,000 multiple times leads me to question some things. We'll see. Find some wind sprites. Hmm. I don't think there's really any way we could store a bunch of gill or anything. Well, it's kind of 
from And then use them over here to summon the second guy. Or the big guy. The main generated by these light of the near cores is the bane of scared women and scared be kilted men across the realm. Storm Springs! Wind crystal. Fantastic. Let's turn this in. Let's see what the situation is. Guild wise. The storm is right attack you. So only you enjoy the refreshing buffeting. I have out a whipping whiffle. Oh fooey. I shall be bored again. Shame. Alright, there's XP. And Gil? No. It says you obtained. It's not here. Is it in some kind of extra spot? Bear Gill, Company Seals, Ventures, and Saucer Points. Battle. We got some of these. This one's a Poets. This one's a the Senate, some of the Helony. This week. Discontinued. This one's a Challenging and Comedy. PvP. Trophy Crystals. We don't have access to other or societies. What kind of currency settings we got? Currency display on the HUD. Gill. None. None. Default is Gill. So on the HUD by default. Yep. Okay, so it definitely seems like we are hitting a cap here. Which is not great. Hmm. What's here? Another level 33 quest. This is not gonna give money, so we'll do this one right now. That's something we need to look gonna need to look into here. Ever capricious. My Sir Guru demands to know how his colibri are faring. Sell so those wild colibri. Not one of them was originally here, though the alchemical question of where here is, that's something we can much munch many almonds over. It was either bread fed and released the birds. So of course, they're still mine, or if they belong to themselves, suddenly no one else owns them. At least not more than I own them. Or was I? Oh yes. My colibri are being poached. The other screens hang just outside the boundary of Castle del Sol. Sly, sly. Entice the colibri with feed. They should not be doing such a thing. Such an ungentlemanly thing. Won't you parlay with them? And if you can't talk sense to them, I'll just... We'll just have to lure the birds back using these flowers. Well, we love sell nectar. I happen to know. Why? Because I bred and fed them. Speak with the fearless poacher. Okay. How far were you? All the way up here. Look at this. But down. No. The birds are aggressive. Look at all the birds they have here. It's a lot of flapping. Back off. This is Bloodshore. We're not in Castle of Soul. That means we don't have to live by your master's say so. Yeah, Bloodshore is not a part of this, his little fiefdom. We're free folk here, not bought and paid for like the line Costa. 
We're taking your birds. With these, it's kind of a silence. There's a tendency of the flowers to grow randomly from its long heart stalks. And the sound makes a terrible bouquet. Shame. Birds like it, though. That's what matters for this. And we're making a trail here. Why are you aggressive? You have no need, no reason to quarrel. I don't think he would like if we killed his birds. And try to avoid that. If possible. Destination here. And destination here. There's some more th thundering stomps on the big guys. And now they're over here. Fantastic. Aha! I have stolen what you tried to steal. <laughs> Just a moment. I'm gonna kill one of these birds. <laughs> the things that end up happening. We're not inside territory. Doesn't count. <laughs> Our message about we gotta not take the birds is gonna be a little bit less impressive after that. What we just did there. <laughs> Pam, that can cover you. He thinks he can buy everything. We built Castle of Soul and I sweat of our brows. Did he tell you that? You no, know, every cobble of the streets laid about half of myself. It was a pioneer town, a good town. That money bag swooped in and took it all. Stays a lackey or leaves a free man, those were the pickings. Then he took the beach. No more fish here than I just say so. Now he takes the colibri. Yep. Sometimes it do be like that. It's gonna fly away now. <laughs> Some something over there. Corals or something. Neat. Elric. Ha, huh, that settles their hatch. And now, they have yet another bone to pick with me. The twelve, no, I have many skeletons in my closet. Don't read too much into that, my dear. But those settlers have quite the ossuary. Castle of Soul was Emerald Merlin's hobby horse. She had an idea to settle this area, and so brought a number of folk on indenture. The terms were very generous. Hardly anyone died, a credit to her leadership. Yes, very credible. But she had no head for business. Kept trying to farm this salty land. Stepped in and saved her from ruin. It's the castle of soul, now a jewel of commerce and culture. But I assure you, it was not thus when I purchased it. Many of the settlers have stayed and prospered. By a good third of my household was once raw pioneer. But some people are like figs. They want to stay the same. Tiresome, I say. They have no one to blame but themselves. Let me get a couple different bits here. All just various eyepieces. Level 32. How do we compare to what we currently have? Less vitality, less intelligence, less mind. More direct spell hit rate, but minus spell speed. Because this is a unique item. This is definitely going to be on the list of things that are just strictly worse. Because this is level 32 hat, which is better than this in every way. So I don't need that at all. You can maybe grab one of the other ones, I suppose. I think we have more spaces in the hats section, at least. I don't currently need any more gill. Take that. Alright. So that's that. So have a level 33 quest on the other side here. A little teleports over there. It's only gonna get us level 33 bit. Not anywhere close to level 35 here yet. I think we'll do this. Hopefully it doesn't try to give us a gill because we apparently can't get any more. We need to do something about that, clearly. I don't know if it would really be worth getting the membership or anything at this point. But I think it said that if you do that, then you can't go back to being free at all. 
And we still have much more we could do in the current state of things. Yes, we're getting a few small issues. But nothing too crazy yet. So this is gonna give us 1400 gil again. Mm. Edgar seems to be in a state of some excitement this fine evening. The exits, pardon me, wine labels to laymen such as yourself, used by our winery, always bear the noble countenance of Master Byron Gallant himself. As such, our esteemed Vincian has invited a famed Hold on, miniaturist. Oh, how very well known. Probably the most famous miniaturist in all the land. To fashion a label truly worthy of a classic vintage, he is due to arrive today. I beg you, won't you go down to Rain Country Gully Docks and meet him? I fear he'll be quite mobbed by admirers, and I'd not have him lusted at least until he is, the portrait is done. Okay. The docks. I'm gonna just fly over there. <laughs> right in Catcher Gully. Down to the docks. And here is the artist. Yeah, quite quite the crowd they've got here. <laughs> yes, I'm the miniaturist. Pardon me if I do not give you my name. I travel incognito, such is my fame. Ah, Master Barglant awaits. I'll fly to him forthwith. We have much to discuss, the Master and I. Artistic differences are many and sundry, yet I can't resist returning for another etiquette. He is a model in a thousand, that one. And there he goes. And we go back. Very simple quest here. Just go over there, and then come back. Works. Works. We just barge through the door, flying in. An expert in etiquettes has just been by. Simply marvelous. Shall order the chilled light to take to his quarters at once. Uh, how sweet it is to have the miniaturist here again. It has been a full five years for the calamity stripped our vines. Our first bottling in half a decade, and oh, to see the master's little visage captured again. There you go. Is that another quest? So level 33, I'm still not getting any money here, but we haven't been using the money anyways. I'm sure later on we'll get plenty more, so I don't think it's a huge deal. Once we run our quest here, I'm definitely going to try to look for something that we can do with it, though. Anyways, I see his chocolate and a hint of tune. Nice. We're have you once again slay his demons. The vineyards waste much water, watching sugar and chaff out the grapes. The soil illusion dregs from... Vats and barrels, and all that goes into the river. The richness of the swill chokes the river, and giant toads feast on the scum. Raptors were horrible. These are thrice as bad. Slay them for us. For me, Arctic. Slay the giant toads. Hey. The giant toads are down this way. Let's fly straight in the direction they are. Which is perfect. Okay. They still did bring us down to the top there. Let me interrupt this. Ah. Sometimes it works. Giant toad skins here. Okay, okay. 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 And 
fish off with some. Go turn this in. Yeah, all the quests here are so far like level 33. Let's see if it ramps up at all. Yeah. Oh, what Master Argent was so pleased, but it increased me her wine has spoiled the river so. Perhaps we can, I can, construct some system to make our swill sweeter. Something. Acorn cookies or scrambled eggs. We got tenacity, vitality, direct hit rate, critical hit, vitality, direct hit rate. An average point pick. And that is the end of the quest here, apparently. So all that's left out here is a single lev business. Very strange. Now this is level 35. I guess they didn't want it to also be level 30. Because one over here is level 30, I think. Yeah. Weird. Okay. Now. Let's see what we can do about this. This is just, I'm really, along with all of this stuff, I'm really interested in the potential of having a, some kind of storage. Let's see if we can accomplish anything here. We should have a house or something. Or I think it's just a room at the inn more than anything. Let's see if we can do anything in there. We haven't looked into that as much. And also if we could store all these crafting materials that we don't always need on us. We're definitely hitting slight pain points at this point. Whether or not we want to actually throw everything out would be slightly inconvenient. We could always buy things that exist in the stores. But they don't have like the best bits. So this is New Gridania. There's a little 42 Something happened over there. That's not what we're really worried about right now. Sprint over to here. Let's see what we can do. The Carline Canopy. Arms Bender. Inkeep. I'm gonna do it for you this evening. Turn to an inn. Ask about the roost. Hope you have a pleasant stay. I think it sounds like R in. Or it's just un in. This is. This is similar. The journey, trenches, armor. Okay. Store an item. No items available. Armor chest. Let me hit offhand. Hmm. There are no items available. Still the ensemble customizer guide. Ensemble customization overview. Very different features just to help you find a perfect look for your character, since each of the customization options work. We got dying glamours, the glamour dresser. That could be what this is. Glamour dresser available in in rooms and grand company barracks. Used to store equipment as glamours up to the dresser's maximum capacity. The initial deposit consumes one glamour prism per item. The stored gear can be projected onto your equipment as many times as you like at no cost. To equip a stored item directly, you retrieve it from the glamour dresser to restore it to its original form. Okay. Oh, this is the armor. That's what we're actually looking at. The other one, in rooms are placed as furnishings in player estates, was used to store artifact armor, seasonal event costumes, achievement rewards, bonus items, and other specific gear. Oh, so this is less general. To determine whether a given icon is stored in the armoire, navigate to the item help window. The armoire icon in the upper right corner is lit up 
and it can be stored. Okay. And you store it, and you can get it back out and be fine. You can put the glamour on it. So that's not going to do anything with the glamour business. This is the armor. This is the glamour dresser. Glamouring gear. Come across a piece of gear designed to your fancy. You know, to store it in a glamour dresser, it will be instantly transformed into a glamour. So we confirm through the item's help window. When storing the glamour dresser, which of the gear can be applied to glamour plates, equipped, then equipped via the plates at your leisure. Now, however, the gear stored in the glamour dresser cannot be equipped to remove from the glamour dresser. Okay. We have no things glamoured. So it still would be costing a glamour here. Search for anything. That's some of these prisms. And all this other stuff. We need to get... Saddlebags here. We got a car materia 2. Add a saddlebag. We got scrambled eggs. Go up this way. In some fashion. And then uh, materials go in here. Let's see if there's anywhere we can store a bunch of material. Just storage in general. There's a lot of different things that you need to do. That you can do, rather. Here's a glamour prism. So we do have 19 glamour prisms. But it seems like there might be a limit in this system. Item, position. It would be the glamour dresser. Up to the dresser's maximum capacity. Okay. So can we tell the maximum capacity here? 800, okay. So that's fine with that. It's just this again. Okay. So we put up to 800 things in here. This is more of a cosmetic systems kind of thing. Hydration, set. Glamour creation. Here is all these. Let's see here. Glamour prisms zero. You say that. Let's see if we can like just buy a whole bunch of glamour prisms or something. Toy chest. Probably put something here. It's like a mini game, or it's a, or it's a mini game. It's fine. A jigsaw puzzle. Yep, that's definitely a jigsaw puzzle. This is not kind of any piece. This is not playing a piece. Oh, get bonuses for doing the jigsaw puzzle. Interesting. The puzzle back in the toy chest? Yeah. Journey book. All the stuff we've done. Chasing shadows. Dunch rail. Classic job quests. We got cutscenes in here. There's dungeons we did. Wild stuff. Got a bed. Crystal ball, sun ball, bell. We'll put some songs in there if we have any. Okay. Let's go to the stores. See if there's anything we could at least spend some gill on here. If we get more of these prisms, we could put some things in there. I think that it's definitely more of a make it a cosmetic override kind of business than an actually storing an item kind of business. We got all these inventory slots and all of the armory chest slots. That's not an infinite number. Okay. I'm gonna go over to the shopping area. There's also a little 15 quest that is up on the other side here, apparently. It's on the list, at least. Internet. Ogre Danya. Let's see if we can get some things. 
And if not anything particular, we could always just get something we can purchase. Just, just anything to spend some money on. Since, as it currently stands, we are literally losing money here. Which is obviously not super great. 15 quests is there. Oh, 43 quests here. And some other quests. Oh, we're not gonna miss this. Okay. Exchanger, control appraiser. No. Containers. As I tell you, you've come to see about a retainer. Perhaps. Hire a retainer. Let's just ask that first. Who are retainers? There's some men and women who offer their services in exchange for coin. There are seldom as sharp as adventurers like yourself. They're no strangers to a life's more menial tasks. Tasks which your lot might not think worth your time. Retainers can provide a host of different services. From tending your items to protecting your gill. Mm -hmm. Oh, and you need not worry about providing recompense for retainer services. The nurturer's skill will not only cover his salary, but also replace anything that goes missing should you wake up to find your belongings gone and your retainer nowhere to be found. And... Retainers in your play can be summoned at any time using special bells like the one nearby. This one's... Yeah. Some bells can also be found around the realm in all physical locations such as city, markets, and inns. Okay. Release, ask, inquire about retainer jobs, view market tax rates. <laughs> what would that be? Normal, 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 reduced, 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 reduced market tax rates. It's just, they're fine. Well, what's that mean? <laughs> To make their markets more attractive to prospective sellers, cities will often lower the percentage of tax that's collected from each sale. These tax rate periods can end earlier than indicated if areas require maintenance. That's gonna be more for the actually auction house or whatever. Not available in the free trial. Okay. Kind of expected that. So we can't use the market board either. Yep. I should really look and get information on exactly what is not available in the free trial. Let's see if there's anything in these shops that we want. Got some arms. Higher level. We could spend a little bit of money on some upper level stuff. It's just the regular kinds of things, though. We already have the best one for that. None of the things in here are going to be, like, special level or anything. It's just going to be li likely the stuff that you're just going to get from doing the class quests. That's how it's typically going for the weapons. I don't think buying any of these would help at all. We could buy them and have a sell back price of, like, 1%. The, the markets here are absolutely wild. The value of items is kind of a mess. You get a solid less than 1% of your money back if you try to sell things. It really makes actual items basically worthless. Okay. So weapons are not going to be helpful. A jeweler. Bellcraft accessories. Some different bits here. All kinds of classes and jewelry and stuff. We've definitely been picking up a few different bits of jewelry. Like we have these ones, we got that one, got those. Yeah. Don't really need anything extra there. Again, you're mostly just gonna find what you're looking for from quests for the most part. It's also field craft accessories. More points and stuff. We haven't got any of those, but possibly we get those from more of the just doing those quests. It's definitely something. We're not really currently doing any of that though, so we're not super worried about that. 
Let's do some gear. We have lots of stuff from what we got. Yeah. One of these hats. Not really too worried about it. Because at this point, you would just have the class quest sets. Pretty much. Gear. Magic gear. Land and hand gear. We don't. The thing is, we don't need more gear. We already have that completely under control. Love you, mate. Anywhere near ready. Something we got material mender, it's fine. What are you guys? I'm for it and I'm for it. Very hard for it, and I oversee the rosewood stalls. Let Hunan merchant who is responsible for the ebony stalls. Of course, Nestor Arsamont holds the real power in the markets. Hard for it thinks true is a decent enough last, but I say that Ola Wench can't be trusted. I she has always dealt fairly with me. It doesn't pay to ignore one's instincts in business. Guys, here's some tools. You can get more tools that you get for free from doing the quests. Let's try the other side of the markets here. Maybe they'll have things that are more interesting for us. An apothecary. He sells various potions, of which we already have a lot of various ones. We have the various. 15 second potions. I'm too impressed by that. Instantly cures blindness. I don't need that either. Tops off at high potions still. So if we go to higher level areas, we might actually get, be able to get higher level stuff. Currently, the high potions is about as good as we're gonna get, it seems. We have powerful regular potions. Which. Heal more, but the max is still lower. If we get some high quality high potions, that would help a little bit. I'm not sure exactly where we got all those. Doesn't matter. We don't need potions. Trade craft supplier. Okay. Here we could buy various tiny bits of the lowest level trade craft stuff. Very similar to what we bought a whole bunch of like lowest level lumbers and bits, because we didn't need to. I always just get a lot of these too. Buying piles of this could technically start to eat through some of our gill, but not in any really appreciable way. We don't know what we all need. Depends what it's used for. Chicken breast. No. Let's see if we can see. Special recipe is use chicken breast. Got chicken stock. And chicken and mushrooms. It's not terrible. Do we really want to spend all of our money investing in chicken breast? Maybe not the craziest idea. Independent Tinker. He's got dyes. I mean wide variety of colors. Some dark matter stuff. Some of the guys are dyes are randomly more expensive. We also have a lot of dyes. Doesn't say we have them in the bag. We have so much in the chocobo bags. Whether or not they use exact colors is not too important. We don't need heaping piles of dyes either. It really doesn't seem to be much we can purchase and then sell back at all. No real stores of wealth or anything. Arms Mender. Costs 13 total. Don't worry about that. Culinarian. This guy's got some various foods here. Hard boiled egg. Simple. Effective. Just about the level everything is are. Probably the most expensive would be the highest level ones they got. You get nothing super impressive. Nothing we can really spend a bunch of money on. Okay. It definitely seems like we're currently being a little bit limited in the guild department, mostly. 
Did we see any... I don't think we saw any, like, other glamour businesses. I sort of saw something like that before. Just purchase various events. Glamour prisms. Clear prism. Using crafting of glamour prism. I just noticed that. We can't just glamour prism all the things. Because that, that doesn't... We have some intention of using some of the equipment again. And I don't think that would work as well. This stuff here, no. We could probably just put them on these at least. Get that in there. Right, yeah. Exotic somethings here. Come away from one of some awares. Locals are proving an unreceptive lot. But it's as if they are versed in novelty to change in progress. We need a new approach. And to make any coin here, perhaps an old one. You've sold me nothing. Thank you. Mm -hmm. There's the other person here they're talking about. Okay. They have more interesting stories. Regular shop, regular shop. Some Miller. Centaur's Eye. I feel like there's just like weapon spots more than anything. Okay. That's the shop for the Carpenter's Guild. That's the shop for these guys. Sundry Splendors. Mm. The Roost. In. Okay. There's some interesting shops over in. Hold on. They're probably around here somewhere. There's some things in there I want to see. There's definitely a few different shops with different stuff. One of these shops is probably a similar one. It's a capital city. It makes sense to have duplicate shops and everything. On the plus side, with the money cap, I don't feel any problem just teleporting all over the place. Because it doesn't make a difference. It's one way to look at things. Okay. Got a few different shops here. Clothier, Battle Gear. Again, this is just similar clothes gear that we get from other places. Field Gear. It's for that kind. Gathering stuff. Novelty Gear. Best Man's and Bride Maid's sets. Nah, I don't need that. Okay. We kind of don't need more gear, is the problem. Importer. Items. What do we got? Some various songs. Some minion pet guys. A monocle. Spectacles. Pistol greens. One of those. Glamour dispellers. Clear prisms. Okay. Recipes use clear prism. Glamour prism. Level 15. And island prism. Master carpenter. 9. This unusual prism prism captures the likeness of a structure. Projects it onto an edifice of comparable construction. Altering the appearance of structures and restoring furniture glamours in your island sanctuary. Oh boy. You see. What this is? It's glamour prism. It is woodworking 15. Hmm. I might be able to see that in here somewhere. It's gonna be in. Logs. Crafting log. Recipes in here. Yeah. Hmm. 
I just say it was. She's in this. Woodworking. Glamour Prism. Master Counter Glamours. Learned. Oh, it's just any kind. Any kind of stuff can do that. Glamours section. Cooking can only make the island one, apparently. Level 15 should have that. Working section. It might just be in a separate log. I think it's like crafting, gathering, orchestral. Little basic recipes, special recipes, glamour crystal. There it is. It needs a wind crystal, an ice crystal, two walnut lumber, price restricted, apparently. And then a clear prison. Hmm. We have zero of those. We buy a bunch of those. We buy a bunch of crystals somewhere. Is there a crystal bag? There it is. We got a lot of sh we got a lot of shards, but very few crystals. Turn the shards into crystals? No, we can't. Why does we just require this? Hmm. Those lower level ones just need the shards. Which I think we probably get from somewhere. Walnut lumber. How low is that? 25? Bet we can't buy that from a shop. Hmm. So buying a bunch of clear prisons is not going to accomplish what we need. Where's some random pets? That'd be a terrible idea. Well, this has a... Sells for a thousand. That's at least a one-third return. I'm sure there's some kind of best thing. Unless we can't actually sell it. Buy one copy of the face of wear monocles. What's that do for us? It's gonna take up inventory spaces though, so that's not ideal. Illustrated periodical on fashionable facial accessories. The issue contains the cover story on monocles of varying colors. So like monocle face wear. Can I execute this down? And give me the spectacles one too, I guess. Only has a buy option of one, so it's probably like a unique. Untainable, unregistered. Chip sell. Close that. Let's get some things here, I guess. We're learning about monocles. Got that. You have an locked face wear. These purely decorative accessories can be worn in addition to headgear. Review your collection by selecting a character from the main menu, found by face wear. This Window you can choose different styles and colors and devise the perfect look for your character. Fantastic. Let's get some spectacles here. One of the simple spectacles face wear. Oh, so it's just regular monocle and regular simple spectacles. Face wear section. We can also do colors. That's fine. We want to wear a monocle in various colors. A black monocle. We can even see that with our big hand in the way. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now we're talking. <laughs> what else you got? Some gear. And there's all the level one starting gears. So that can help. Again, we don't really need gear, <laughs> is the thing. The starter. Bits of those. That's not all they have. We'll buy these pets, I guess. <laughs> We're having fun here. 
We don't need a glamour to spellers. I guess. Flexion absorbs magical light from the glamour armor. Thus, the spelling magical illusion. Because one of the dies, has to be also removed. So we can buy a bunch of these to break that. That was super helpful. Minions! Hooray! <laughs> I guess that's too awesome. Okay. Okay. Well, we've spent 14,000. Well, let's do a few more quests. Don't think that's gonna help too much. Ministers of Nations and Educating Adventures and Talents available for strengthening bonds between them. And I would like to introduce you to Link Shell. As they communicate with others at any distance as well as they were before your very eyes. We have as many as eight Link Shells at any time. I need to communicate simultaneously with any number of people. The time of physical presence required is, well, never. Can you get a personal link shell for you now if you like? Link shells. Link shell feature is now available. Ever just unlocking features from not even the big icon unlock a thing options. Link shells are group chats. Plenty of quick and easy communication between players who are not necessarily in a party or free company. Link shells have up to 128 members, while well, players may possess as many as eight separate link shells. My goodness. That's a lot of. Options. Wild. Okay. We're still missing the Fashion Accessories, Blue Magic Spellbook, Regular Collection, Ring Finder, VNC Dungeon Finder, Trust, Duty Recorder, Fishing Log, Fish Guide, Ether Currents, Shared Fate, Record, Ready Check, Free Company Housing, PvP Team, Link Shells. And that's it. <laughs> and then also, like, unlocking dungeons and stuff. It's okay. If we accomplish being able to put stuff in or not have all these piles of things, not really. Not really. We could glamour a few things and put them in the box. That's not going to solve much of our problems. It's not like a storage or anything. Let's just see if we can go over what we were missing out on for being in the free trial business here. See if anything would solve all of our problems. I mean, it, it's it's the it costs money to play system. It's gonna solve all your problems. <laughs> maybe not worry about that for a little bit, though. Or maybe worry about it next time. Goodbye.